is I'm not tired. good for you. Mm -hmm. Why in a lady? Why in a lady? Sikoto abata kesi in two thousand nine. Who's saying it's kind of disgusting? It's the fucking ghetto. <laughs> like honestly. Maybe it's a massage or something. I man. Hey, yar. You know where you're going. Nope. I, I just know I'm going to a place called the River Club or something or the River Park. Yeah. I just wanted to say happy birthday and that you must have a nice day. Okay. Thank you. I was wondering why you disconnected to the phone. Hey, I don't know what happened. Yeah, no, no. Uh, uh. What's going on here? Okay, you tell me if you want us, if you want us to meet later. Okay? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna probably meet later. Now, lady, we say, now, lady, we say, um, uh, what are we doing? I am going to whatever we're doing at leisure in the morning and brunch. They know it's in the evening. So as soon as I'm done with the brunch, if there's not much time missing, okay, we can meet up and do a quick lunch or something. Because yeah, I will. I want us to. To spend a little bit of time together. It's okay. It's it's your day. You'll just let me know. I still know that you love me anyway. I do love you, Doofus. Okay, Doofus. Have a nice day. Happy birthday. Okay. Thanks, Doofus. Love you, bye. I need to give you my your present. I'll give it to you later. Okay. Love yeah. Le papa gets a present. I was like, I but why, much? That's nice. There wasn't a need, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Okay. The thing is, Oko Kai, um, but anyway, okay, I'm gonna see you later. Love you, bye. Love you, bye, bye. Morning, guys, and um, and I, I'm not okay, as you guys can see for the first time ever since you guys have known me. I'm wearing shades, and you guys probably wonder why I'm wearing shades because I don't generally wear shades, you know. But that's probably because I got really bad eyesight. But um, another reason is because I am hung over like a mother. Okay. Yesterday, or oh, well, early this morning, as soon as like 12 o'clock hits, I just started really going shouting and thinking about my mom and just missing like having a mom. You know what I'm saying? So I was kind of going through all of it and I kind of stayed up to like 3 4 o'clock in the morning. But. Now it is currently um, 8.30. I am on my way to meet Naledi. Naledi Sokoto, Ling Ling, who told me that I should get ready and go to the river club and wear athleisure. And she basically told me to wake up in the morning and I'm like, but why? It's my birthday. I should be able to do whatever I want. I want to do whatever I want to do. You know what I'm saying? So I'm driving there now and um, I'm going to see what the heck I need to be up at 9 a.m. for because I also don't get it. But yeah, guys, the 11th of November is my birthday. It's my day today. I mean, it's all about me. Yeah, now, <laughs> Beyonce syndrome, what it do, baby? I'm kidding. No, really, honestly, I'm just I'm just so flipping tired. I, I really wasn't prepared for this. And I was I was really ish. Now I'm hungover. I don't gag. I don't gag. I don't gag. I don't gag. I was really hoping um, not to celebrate my birthday. I don't like celebrating my birthday. I don't like making a big hoo ha out of it. And that's probably because every time around this year, I just get into very depressed mode and I think about my mother a lot. Uh, much more than I should, actually. As much as I can. And I just go into a state of depression. And like it's it's just like those depressive episodes you know so i think this year my friends are forcing me to really kind of be grateful and not be in a state of um self-hatred and pity party because you know what irrespective of the fact that she's gone i have a lot to be grateful for but it's just so hard to be grateful when the one person i'd like to show the most gratitude to i can't because she's not here Yes, it's my dragon voice. Yes, a part of that was because I went to the TikTok party for the Amapiano Festival yesterday. So I was yelling a lot, a lot. And now my voice is gone, gone. Like gone, girl, gone. So um, that's probably why it sounds very husky and very Lanzy Gamma like. You know, but that shit kind of cute though. Kind of bang. <laughs> yeah. So uh, let me head to the River Club. I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit later as soon as I get there, but oh my god, oh my god. Hello? Hey, happy birthday. Thank you, I saw your message earlier. Hi. 
guys, Nelly is taking me to the weirdest place inside someone's complex and white people are going to start thinking I'm trying to steal their stuff because what, where am I going? I have no idea where I'm going. I, what? I'm still here. What? Nah, I'm just gonna ask this gent where Panda's road is. Sanmaran Baba, ask his do. Muka look Do you know where Oryx is? Come again? Oryx, Panda's road. There's a complex called Oryx. Is it in this? Um... Uh, yeah, we don't have the complex. Or complex is that side. When you go straight, there is the Eastgate complex. Somewhere. Eastgate? It yeah. says. Eastgate complex. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we don't have the complex. Oh, okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, cool. I definitely have no idea what the fuck I'm going now. Okay, now I'm going completely out of the complex. Right. Okay. I have no idea where I'm going. It's taking... Okay, but I'm getting to Panas. Wait, am I still inside a complex? Am I still inside an estate? A boomed off area? I have no idea where I'm going. I don't want to lie to you. What part, what, part of, what part of the world is this? I have no idea. Where I am, I've never been down this road. I don't know where that lady's taking me. She's probably taking me to get kidnapped because something is very fishy here. But anyway, guys, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. Okay, but okay, I'm getting to Panda's Lane now. Guys, I didn't even pull my wig down. She, I thought she said we're doing at leisure. Okay, I, I am I just passed Acon Acres and now it's making me turn okay. left. What the hell are my <laughs> What is what are you guys all doing here? I like in your perfume, hey. What are we doing? Guys! You're going to be doing downwards facing dog mother, you know, oh, Should I take my bag? No, you don't need to take your camera. Don't need it. Okay. Baby. Yes, baby. You're here. You never sped in it. <laughs> you don't have to drop me, bitch. I, you didn't drop me, bitch. How are you, baby? You, <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you want to say it smells like alcohol? What's going on? Guys, oh my god. Look. Oh my god, but why are we relaxing in the like, Okay. okay. Guys, we're finally at Olives and Plates and my boyfriend bought me a mask because he always does. Oh, click it. No, go in I'll send you then inside. What? Close your mirrors. Close my mirror. It closes on your lock. Okay guys, we're here at Olives and Plates and my friends are taking me out to lunch for my birthday. 
You know what, guys? Yoga is tough, 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 tough. Do you know what? Rete. Okay, thank you. Oh my god. I've never been here. I feel so poor. What is he doing? Why are you hiding it? What is he hiding in it? Daddy, tell the people, what is he hiding in it? I don't know. He wanted to know. <laughs> Guys, the lady and my boyfriend are taking me out to Olive's in place for breakfast. And it's so much fun. I'm already having the best time of my life. This is what a birthday must be like. Exactly. After I'm all over you. Exactly. So I'm at the gong, 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 gong. I was there every day. Sometimes what they're pissed. Oh, no, it's we are old. You're, you're <laughs> fucking so gong, old. Gong, nah, we can't do gong, gong every day. Oh. So this Olive's in place is at the Embassy Towers in Santon. Um, I'm not entirely sure if they'll let me record. But hey, we're gonna try it. Look at this olives and plates. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. This place is beautiful. What the ultimate fucky? Like, what's happening? Yeah, contamination is killing the youth. Just finished breakfast, which turned into brunch, which turned into lunch, and she now check her boots. Go check her boots. boots. <laughs> Go check my boots. I'm going check my boots. Okay, guys. So I made a birthday. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I made a birthday wish list two days ago. <laughs> Wait, I Yo. comprised the list of things I just saw on the net. What, what is it? An, uh, a Porsche, Porsche McCann. <laughs> number, <laughs> number three, number 15. Yo, you are stressed. Can I number 15? You are going to get a DSLR. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, broke. You know what? Did you know? Yeah, I, I really had no idea. Like, <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. I can't relate. <laughs> How many problems do you have? E exactly. <laughs> Guys, so Nelly is busy telling me to go check what's in my boots, right? What's in my boot? What's in my boot? Baby, what's in my boot? <laughs> now I'm gonna wait for my friends to see what else they're gonna do for me. We can do. We I wanna drive the with them in the front seat. I get that. Yeah. I don't want them to steal them in the boot. <laughs> you know what? Guys, they're making it to me, man. That's your man. That's all you. Hello. Hey, what's going on? Are you home? Yeah, there's no power though. Okay, I'm just gonna come and show you. I got I got a gift from and you got me Jordans. Okay, come come show me, I'll wait for you. And I'm also gonna come get my gift from you because you guys are getting me my birthday wish list thingy my balls. Yeah, I know it's disgusting. It's so fucking cool. I like birthday wish lists. I love these things. <laughs> Yo, Kato, I was so excited. Okay, I'm I'm stuck in traffic on the M1. We were driving back from Olives and Plates. So I'm 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 headed to you right now. So I'll see you shortly. But I just wanted to let you know I'm on the way. <laughs> to pick up my gift. Please. 
Yes, of course, it's, it's right here. Guys, like I'm just I'm going through all of it right now like I'm just so emotional besides the fact that I went out had breakfast with my friends and had a great time they got me Jordans Jordan dunks you know what I mean like wow I know that it doesn't seem like much in consideration or whatever but like it's big to me like it's like I'm not even used to my friends getting me anything, let alone a gift, right? So for my friends to come together and get me a gift has been the best feeling one could have ever asked for. You know what I mean? It could have been the best. This has been the best day so far and we're literally only sitting at like one o'clock. And also, can we talk about how many cops there's been out here lately? Like in the past two days, I've seen cops everywhere. I don't know what is going on. But there's been cops everywhere over Johannesburg. It's been it's been ridiculous. Why have there been cops everywhere? Roadblocks everywhere. I have no idea what's going on on the roads, like but everything has just been a horrid, horrid, horrid mess. And I'm headed home now. So that I can get my gift from my sister and then go home and start doing my face so that I can go out with my boyfriend tonight because he's taking me to dinner. So stick around and see where he takes me sorry guys uh, my acorn has been on because it's been hot 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 so yeah i'll talk to you guys when i get there just got to my sisters and i want to show her my dunks okay i got some new snakes and i'm gonna go get my gift from her so i got two things off my birthday wish list which has been absolutely amazing balls. Is that what I And I'm hoping that someone has budgeted the Porsche McCann because I want the Porsche McCann. So I, I don't want to put mine. But also, I need to get my gift from her and then go back home and open for Tandy, um, the lady who works at the house, because she comes in on Thursday. So, yeah, that's kind of been the situation. However, yeah, come. Let's go see my sister and see what she got for me. Cause it's all about me, did I? <laughs> yeah, it's all about me. Today is gonna be about me. Uh, Look! I got dunks! Okay, let's go see what my sister got me. I got dunks. I'm gonna take them out so I can take pictures of them and let the whole world know that I got um two birthday gift lists, wish lists. Thanks. Hey, oh my god. Oh my say hi to my say hi to my um subscribers. Hey people. Yeah, we kind of like crap. <laughs> hey people. Guys, my sister also got me something off my wish list, okay? It's one of the things that I wanted. It was definitely in my top five. It was definitely my top five. Okay, go get my gift. Uh, oh, do you want it? No, okay, I'm well, just here I to waste the damn it time. In theory, in theory, in my head, I bought it. Now. What are you talking about? No, I want my, I want my gift. Um. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. It's Friday night. I feel alright. And the party's here on the west side. And the it and the honey and the mini mat. Okay, guys, let's see what she got me. Hey, you know what? Let me take pictures first and say. Once again, hey. this is how we do it. Mm. Mm. This is how we do it. Do, 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 do. Wish lists actually are cool. What do I get her? What what I just, just, just feed her, her, bro. It's not even that deep. Get her. Yeah. See all the cameras proper. Yo, I can't wait to get I my was, iPhone. 15. I was crying when I saw Sansa's post. Did you cry? I did. It's because yeah. he loves you. You can't yeah. go you, you're recording. Oh. 
Hold on. Hey guys. Um. Okay, cool. Let me actually let me go into the beauty room so you guys can see what I look like. But um, it's now currently 16:51. It's going on 7 p.m. And I just want to show you guys how I look. I'm going to dinner right now with my boyfriend. So I just want to show you guys what outfit I'll be wearing. You guys know me. I'm someone who loves accessories, but I don't really have nice ones. So I've been trying, obviously, you know, to, you know. And I just didn't even feel like wearing, like laying down my frontal because I've had such a long day. I've barely gotten any sleep. I just want to go eat, have a good time and come back home. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm wearing this black dress that I got. Wait. I'm wearing this black dress, guys that um, I got from a place called Baltique on Instagram and to be quite honest with you I'm not too sure how I feel about the material first of all this part is so sore it's literally so painful on my arms that it's even making a mark and I literally just started wearing it so I'm already feeling so uncomfortable it feels like it's actually stopping my blood pressure so this is really like it's literally creating a mark on my arm and the, the quality of the dress here is great however these arms just feel so sore and the the quality of these arms as well just feel really um really low quality i guess i could call it that uh I really had every intention to wear this dress, but it is so sore on my arms. So I don't know if I might attempt to wear the white one that they sent me, but this one is so painful on my arms. Like it's creating marks and it's stopping my blood flow to a point where I'm just wondering, is it even worth it? Like, should I like perhaps put it like, you see, I could put it any way and it, it's still so painful. Like, I'm just so sad because the outfit looked great. However, it makes no difference if this thing is going to basically stop my blood flow at the restaurant. So I'm just gonna try to see if there's some sort of something else that I can wear or perhaps to just pick a completely different outfit. But yeah, I'm just kind of put off at this point. But it's a beautiful dress. It's just, it's not the quality that I thought it would be for the price that it is. Um, I will find out how much the price is and put it somewhere here. I I generally, yeah, no, it, it's a big disappointment for me. But anyway, um, I do look great though, that much I can't lie. But um, yeah, I'm just going to try and find out if there's anything else that I can do regarding the arms. But again, it's a beautiful dress. Um, I feel great, I look great. And um, yeah, if I could wear it today, I probably would. So let me talk to you guys later and try to figure out what to do. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I've got generally got fat arms. So that's probably why it might not even just be the dress, it might just be me, I've got fat arms. But at the end of the day, it's literally digging into my skin and kind of making it so sore that I'm struggling to even pick up my hand. So let me figure out what I can do about this and I'll talk to you guys just now. So I went and made a blender, right? I cut this part. I cut it with the scissors so that I could just breathe in it, right? And the thing is, it's not it's not moving down. It's just, I cut it. But I'm not too upset about it, about cutting it. I'm still going to wear the dress. And I'm just going to get my boyfriend to take pictures of me with it. But other than that, yeah, it was hurting me so badly. Yeah, but as you can see, there's a lot of, like, kind of movement around the arm. So maybe I'll get someone to kind of, you know, fix it. But this is essentially what it looks like. So... I'm gonna go to dinner with my boyfriend and I'll talk to you guys as soon as I get back. Can you tell how tired I am? I've had a morning from how? <coughs> so morning guys, um, it is the 12th of November. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's the 12th of November. Um, it's the day after my birthday. As you guys can see, I am extremely extremely tired um i went to dinner and i i wanted to vlog but mm, it was a little bit intimate for me in that regard so i didn't um I, I really just felt like 
I wanted to enjoy the moment without having to constantly have my camera around or constantly trying to record the moment. I think um, it was just, it, it was amazing. It was, it, it was an amazing day. Um, it was beautiful. And people sent me so many gifts. Like I'm, I'm really, really so grateful. So what I'm gonna do is probably, we're gonna go do like a little quick unboxing to show you guys what my family and friends got me. But I'm really looking forward to it because a lot of it is kind of centered around what I wanted this year. And that was kind of to just build my um, kitchen, everything in the house. I wasn't really concerned with all the other things on my birthday wish list but it would have been nice to get like a nice perfume or whatnot but everything else i'm not really picky you know what i mean um i got a lot of nice things from people so yeah we're gonna go that side and we're gonna do an unboxing and i'm gonna show you guys what everybody got me or should i do it in here nah let me go that side come let's go that side guys because i when I look at my emails, they stress the crap out of me. Like, my voice is gone. I've been going out every single night this week, and I'm genuinely just tired. But you know what? Let me say this, guys. Honestly, I have been in a little bit of a back and forth with a certain agency that's just been causing me trouble in terms of my contract, and it's making me really sad. Um, I'm starting to realize how horrible agencies can be and um how exploitative they can be especially with like content and things that we do for them so i haven't been having much of a great day and i think a lot of it has to do with the fact that it's one thing for agencies to want to work with us and whatever it's another one for agencies to actually just kind of i don't know i don't know just just read your contracts guys because there's clauses in there that bind you to them but they don't bind them to you you know what i mean so i'm just i'm not having the greatest day and it, i literally found out on my birthday so i've been so sad and so upset and you know what i just hate dropping the ball when it comes to reading contracts and i just need to do better in that regard so that's my alt catch and um yeah you know, you just become so concerned with making money and, and, and working with brands that you don't realize what you tie yourself to when you do decide to work with agencies that work with big brands. Agencies can can ex like exploit um, content creators. And in this particular instance, I, I can't discuss it, obviously, but as soon as that contract comes to an end, I will tell you guys. I don't know what happened there. My camera just stopped filming. But anyway, yeah. Maybe it's just a sign that I mustn't get carried away with talking about this because it just makes me sad. But anyway, let's go and unbox my gift and then we can call it the end of this vlog. So I got quite a lot of things and um, it's going to take quite a minute, but I'm going to try to speed up the process. But the first thing I got were these Jordan Dunks. Um, my boyfriend got me these and... I don't even remember when I told him I wanted these, but I just told him I wanted Jordan ones. So that was really cute. But you guys already probably saw that in the vlog anyway. So these were like one of my favorite gifts because these are the ones I saw like on my birthday. The rest I haven't really seen because I haven't like unwrapped them. And then um, somebody sent me this. It's um, Nelidium official. The stars will always align. And the inside it was like a Naledi M official flask, which was really cute. Only problem is I'm not entirely sure who sent me this, so I didn't know who to thank. Um, but it was so cute and also I was so happy. So thank you to the mystery buyer of this flask. Um, I then got, hold on. I got these. Yeah, but these are from my boyfriend, so i got those from him as well and then the dinner yesterday as well and then um senzo sent me a card and uh he said i love everything about you yeah i love everything about you it's feel when i come to you i cannot imagine me without you so yeah that was so sweet of senzo and he gave me a chocolate so that was sweet and then 
I got um, ooh, uh, cowboys from my sister and my friend and my family members. So I think basically everybody just bought me cutlery. Like, I don't know what the hell was going on, but everybody just kind of bought me cutlery. So I know it's from Carol Boys from my birthday wish list, but I'm not sure which one it is, right? So should I drop you guys? They got me. Guys, I'm so sorry that I'm bummed. This contract thing is just, it's, it's making me upset. But my sister got me these champagne flute glasses, which is so cool because I've been wanting them for a while, while, while. Like, I have those ugly kids in heel champagne glasses, so I'm kind of really glad that I got these because it's Carol Boys. They're beautiful. And for anybody who wants to know how much these are, it's a set of four for 800 so... Hey, be careful. Um, my friend CD also came and dropped off something yesterday from Carol Boys, and she also gave me a bottle of champagne. Yes, French champagne, not um, not uh, MCC. And funny story, when she went there yesterday, um, she was buying me a gift, and the ladies apparently there were saying that, oh wow, you're buying your friend such an expensive gift, right? And apparently TD was like, no, it's in her wish list. And they were like, who is this friend? And she said it's that lady. And apparently they knew who I was. No cap, true story. So they actually even wrote me a card. Carol Boys got me a card. And they said, to Naledi M, happy birthday. We love your work from the Carol Boys team, the Glen. Look at that. The people at Carol Boys actually knew who I was. That is so cool. Thank you so much, guys. Yo, wait. And it's another shack set of champagne flute glasses. Yeah, no. Oh, crap. That's that's crazy. Oh, okay. So here's what's going on. TD bought me the old design. And my sister bought me the, the new design. So the new design for Carol Boys has got these thick stems. And okay, that, this is the one I wanted. The one with the thick stems. And then TD bought me the one that I used to like. The one that made me fall in love with Carol Boys, which is the one with the thin stems. I don't know if you can see the difference. So that's cool. I get to have more champagne glasses because I love champagne. Now I'm going to unwrap what my dad got me from Carol Boys. And my dad got me a lot of things. It's actually my mom, and I know it's my mom, but I know that my mom said my dad's go buy it. <laughs> this is what was in the packet. Um, it's a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna start. I'm gonna get through it very quickly. But I'm really glad that it's not glasses. Oh my god. I'm not really someone who gets gifts. My dad got me these pop art mugs. This is so beautiful. Fuck. <laughs> What is this? It's a mug, right? Is this a mug? It's a mug, maybe. It's a mug. My boyfriend said yes, it's a mug. They got me these cute mugs. Oh my gosh. Ah, drinking coffee is going to be a blast. My family members and I are really big on cowboys at home. Most of our cutlery, well, all of our cutlery is cowboys. Like from the fork to the to the serving dish to gazi but that's that's my parents they get to live like that me i'm fine with that home i'm even fine with my surprise home me me i'm not piggy so i'm glad that i didn't have to buy it myself because it the stuff is expensive and then uh, my dad also got me more mugs <laughs> out of all the things mugs are not one of them but I like it. Oh, thanks, man. I mean, nobody thought of cutlery. Like, was I asking for a lot here? Was I aiming for the stars? I'm joking. These are more mugs, and these I think are a lot bigger than these ones. I still prefer these ones. But these are also really beautiful. Oh my gosh, so many things. Now we open these ones, and I think these are either plates. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Serving guests is gonna be a blast. Yo! That's Wait, huh? Ah, 
Sir, sir, what would I be eating in this? Why didn't you buy normal ones? No, but I love this. Yes, sis. Ooh. They can't give me something this nice. And then when I'm supposed to serve people in the plates that they're going to eat in, my plates are disgusting. But this is nice. This low bowl. Why? What is it for? To put like body beetroot in the rice. No, not to put the rice. To put like the salad. We've got one more. It feels like a bowl. I mean, so nobody thought of plates, forks, knives. I live alone. Who do I serve? I don't have party. Look at me complaining. I should be grateful. Yeah, yeah, I should be. I think the only person that understood the assignment here, I'm gonna tell you guys with my chest, is my boyfriend and my sister. No, and 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 auntie. They they read. They wish this properly. Why is my dad? Okay, but I got another low bowl. Okay. Um, maybe, maybe he didn't want to buy plates because he's saving up for the Porsche McCann. I wouldn't know. <laughs> McCann. But here's another bowl. This is so cute, actually. This one is pretty. Yeah, I think I prefer this one. This one is nice. It's the same as it's the same as my cups. Yeah, no. You see, this design is the pop art design, and then that one and that one is the uplifting design or dancer design. So I like the pop art. It's very young. It's very cool. Kind of gives me like Gucci vibes. No, it doesn't give me Gucci vibes. I'm like, no, it does actually. Hey, 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 hey. So I'm really happy about that. And those are my gifts, guys. Um, there is someone who ordered me something from Le Creuset. Le Creuset. I don't know how you say it. And I don't know who it is. No, no one's refusing to tell me. All I know is that it's getting delivered at my house at some point. So I'm really excited to see that. But until then, I think we've reached the end of this vlog. You guys can see these are all the gifts people got me. Let me show you. It's a lot. You know what I mean? The one thing I wish I had now is my um, bar trolley. What is it called? A bar, a bar tray. Because I would like to put that over there and then maybe just like uh, pair it with a mirror. I know that people have been making fun of my really crap background. And yes, I am working on it. But I do want a bar tray. And don't tell me things like, oh no, a bar trolley is getting kind of old because everybody thing. And yes, I'm part of the everybody people who wants to do it too. I'm a human, aren't I? I'm one. So everyone, myself included. So that is it, guys. That is the end of this vlog. I will see you guys in my next vlog if I get anything else. But until then, I love you guys so much. And see you guys next time.